And the citrus industry, which is one of our state's biggest money makers, is also dealing with the damage left behind from Hurricane Ian. As 10 Tampa Bay's Chris Rogers explains, Ian is costing our state billions of dollars. As Roy Petaway surveys the damage on his 100 acre grove in Zolfo Springs. And you can see kind of where the trees are leaning which ways and whatnot pushed over. The scope of Hurricane Ian's impact paints a bleak picture. We're estimating at least 40% of our crop is on the ground and un unusable and unmarketable. Um, we're looking at maybe a 10% tree loss. Citrus is big business in Florida. There are over 375,000 acres of groves and it brings in an estimated $6 billion annually. This is a gut punch. There's no doubt about it. Where there's been some real optimism, uh, even with the, the lower uh, box count. We know that we had good fruit quality going into to this season. The orange forecast for this year puts production at about 28 million boxes or 1.26 million tons according to the U.S. Agriculture Department. That's 32 percent below the year before and it doesn't account for damage from the hurricane which will only make matters worse. Um, Irma was five years ago and to be able to come out of that shadow of, of it takes five years for a freshly planted tree to produce enough quality fruit that you can measure it and count it this would have been five years. At a Florida Citrus Mutual event, Senator Marco Rubio estimated about $3 billion is needed to cover the cost of the damage Ian left behind. For some growers, it might mean the beginning of the end. This makes it even more devastating for them and for us. Um, and this will be between all the stresses with citrus greening and such, this is the kind of event that will push growers out. For an industry that has been desperately trying to turn things around, the full after effects of the storm remains to be seen. This is no doubt a gut, gut punch to an industry that we believe is on the cusp of being able to stabilize and start to rebuild. Chris Rogers, 10 Tampa Bay. And financial info company Market Watch says this crop will be the smallest number of orange boxes produced in our state since World War II. To learn more, there's a link right now on our website. That's 10tampabay.com.